Okay, here in front of me, you are looking at the Vivor TIG 200A. So this unit is a cost-effective unit to get you started with TIG. And that's the way that I'm looking at this unit is a entry point to get you into TIG welding as a starter. So I'm gonna go over what stuff is included. I am also not by any means an expert welder, which is why I decided to try this out and uh, show you guys what the result is. So it comes with a bunch of stuff comes with your hose, a regulator, although it doesn't have like actual connections on the end, like a compression fitting, it's more just a barb and a hose. So take that for what it's worth. At least it comes with a regulator, you guys, but it, uh, I would upgrade to a better regulator, such as this one, where it actually has a compression fitting on the end, but the actual fitting on the unit is just a barb coming out the end. So I had to actually step it into the rubber hose, which kind of looks a little bit janky, but, uh, I at least wanted one compression fitting on one end, so you could probably put some hose clamps on that, but definitely wouldn't leave this cracked open because you might end up draining your bottle. Other than that, this does both TIG and stick welding. So here's your stick welder if you're into that sort of thing. Moving across, you've got some attachments. They do give you some different attachments and cups for your TIG welder. Also, they give you some tungsten, which is pretty cool for the price points. A little wire brush deal. Pretty much every welder comes with one of these. And one of these like funny, like almost like uh, ooga chugga, ooga chugga masks <laughs> for like welding. <laughs> so I would suggest getting yourself a welding helmet though, but it comes with like, one of these little just dark lenses and then like the little thing that you hold. But I don't know how the hell you would hold this in front of your face and run the TIG welder with, you know, feeding rod. It makes zero sense, but that is there. And then also here is your TIG torch. It does come with the switch on it. So that's pretty cool there. It has like, I don't know if you guys can see, it almost looks like blue jean material. So it's not just a black wrap. It's actually like a, in my opinion, like looks like a set of blue jeans on it. So pretty nice that way. But other than that, it has a little foot pedal, but I'm noticing here, it looks like REM. And again, I am not an expert welder by any means, but this here is just for a foot pedal like this is just an on and an off switch it doesn't have any variability to it so i think this here for remote that would probably give you your progression with the tig which is essential um i'm gonna need to order one of those for sure because just the on and off switch it's nice to be able to run a pedal and you know add heat when you do and don't need it as far as all of our settings here i'm gonna go through it i'm gonna play with it first i literally just took it out of the box so I'm gonna mess with it first. I guess the plus and the minus is obviously gonna be your voltage, how much you wanna run here, and then you can see the different settings here. So it's pretty cool. It's got DC, AC, your arc, you can do 2T, 4T, repeat, uh, weld, no pulse, pulse, or what does that say? SMAW. So some options there, and you can see you got uh, your arc start, pre-gas, rise, and there's all sorts of settings here. Well, I guess these will be plus and minus, so not only can you adjust your voltage, but you can go through the different settings. So I don't know, I'll mess with it. One thing is it's not 220, which uh, again, if you're just a hobbyist and you're trying to get into this thing, it would be, uh, you know, you'd probably just be looking for this style plug. I thought for some reason it was uh, 220, but it just has a regular standard house plug on it. So anyways, I've got some exhaust to weld. I'm gonna put some V-bands on it. So I'm gonna mess with it for a minute, play with it, and then uh, I'll let you guys know what I find after playing with the machine for a bit. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna be completely honest. Again, I am not by any means any sort of welder. I am, I would consider myself a novice. I've welded before with another TIG welding machine. It was actually a off-brand as well, but I am gonna say that I am pleasantly surprised with this machine. So I managed to get, you know, like I said, <laughs> don't, don't judge my welds like some sort of weld porn or anything here, but um, I managed to get it get the job done you guys so and even like if you wanted to do this perfect perfect and buy the book you would cap it cap it back purge it the whole thing but i mean honestly i think my welds look better than you know the factory ones so i'm okay with that but yeah i got the job done got my v-bands welded on here and this little thing rips i actually had to turn it down quite a bit because it actually had too much sauce so i even uh i was messing just with some test metal and it blew a hole right through this 
uh, almost maybe almost an eighth of an inch thick but I was just running some little passes on here and yeah it's uh she's got some steam to her apparently I took a look at some of the reviews even though it has this plug on it like a house a standard house plug you can actually run it on 220 there's some guys on Amazon that were saying that they ran on 220 but for just the light duty work that I'm doing she rips so and this is again I am by all means I'm confessing that I am a noob at this this is the first time I've actually used the TIG switch normally the last one that I had had a pedal but this machine actually works better than the last one with the pedal so I'm pleasantly surprised I'm still working on my skills you guys so don't uh, sacrifice me here this one looks a little bit better I think as far as the color goes this one maybe got a little bit hot in certain areas and I'm still working on my dab routine so again cut me some slack you guys before you guys uh, try to kill me on the uh, welding routine but a lot of this stuff like I'm just kind of coming in here and honestly just kind of fusing the two together I know it's might maybe not uh, you know buy the book but it gets the job done I've actually done it before I don't know if I should admit that but <laughs> it worked and uh, yeah she's good to go so if you guys are looking for an affordable machine that gets the job done, there's way more features on here that uh, than I can probably explain to you guys because again this is a hobbyist machine so it does have the remote setting where you can actually get a pedal for it if you want to do that but it's pretty cool because it actually has all the settings so look pre-gas so I could set what I wanted my gas for to start or if you want gas to start it before the arc starts what voltage or amps you want it to start and come on at and then what my current I was just welding at 83 that seemed to be decent for what I was doing and then time down and then your post delay so 20 amps on the end and then three seconds for the gas to continue afterwards and this thing worked good you guys so I'm happy with it. I'm going to have to give it a thumbs up on this one. Um, like I said, comment down below any questions you have on it. I was really thinking about upgrading the machine to, you know, more higher end one. But for the small work that I end up doing, and since I'm still learning, she gets the job done. So overall, I'm happy with it. Here she is. I also got the Vivor table that I'm welding on for the first time. And uh, yeah, job well done. So any questions, ask me down below. Check out the other videos on the channel if you guys are interested in automotive stuff we're building this truck here with the hemi swap we've got the hellcat swap dakota hellcat swap ram all kinds of stuff and uh yeah if you're a garage guy like i am you can uh, get some welds done with this thing so thanks for watching guys see you guys on the next video